Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. This is the Oracle of Tinem Kutu, and welcome back. Today, I've got an interesting question which was posted on our WhatsApp group by a colleague who is a high school mathematics teacher in South Africa. He teaches the grade 12 metric students as well as the a S and A level students of Cambridge. So, uh, in keeping with our learning convention, I have two questions. The first one is the one that was uh, given uh, to the group by a colleague. Then the second one, I took it from uh, Smedley and Wise Men, an introduction to pure mathematics. It's a textbook that uh, we use to teach uh, A-level students. And um, I took this particular application, uh, which is example nine, in order for us to connect the first question and the second question and uh, the concepts that we are going to be dealing with today. So we will present the first question as a video on its own and then present the second question as a video on its own and then combine the two with interludes so that we do not just have a single video where we are just talking and talking and talking. So in keeping with our naming convention, we are going to name this one application of CAO plus one differentiation and we are going to be uh, dealing with the chain rule, product rule and the quotient rule. So we are going to show how each plays a role in differentiation and how it is used in the applications. And I'm calling it application of cow plus one differentiation. I have chosen to say uh, differentiation, we are calling it cow plus, plus one and the uh, integration we we'll call it uh, cow plus two so most of the videos that we have already uploaded that we uploaded on YouTube as a single standalone videos we are now combining and editing them so wherever you see application of cow plus one you know it's differentiation and so the videos are combined in such a manner that uh, they vary in the difficultness of, of the questions with which we will be dealing with so that uh, we can separate all level staff, AS and A level staff and the university level staff so that the, the, the students can follow according to their level and they are not forced to watch something that is above the, the, their level. So the first question that we are going to look at says that uh, if fx lin uh, square bracket square root of 6x minus 1 under the square root sign and the bracket, uh, open the brackets 4x plus 5 close brackets to the power 3 and close square brackets we are being asked to find uh, f prime x which is the differential of that particular function so this is the, a logarithmic function and our base is the natural log which is the natural number e and the, I'm going to show you three alternative approaches to dealing with that question and the, for each alternative approach it will depend on your level of development within the field of mathematics so this question uh, deals with a number of concepts. One, it is the, uh, it deals with exponents, and two, it deals with the, the multiplication of, of functions within the, the logarithmic function, and the, the exponency, there we have got a cube, and here we have got the square root of, of 6x minus 1. And then it also deals with the differentiation of uh, logarithmic functions. The square root sign is in itself uh, very intimidating. 
So it is meant to, to threaten you, but otherwise it is not uh, something that you should be afraid of. It doesn't uh, come across immediately as an exponent, but it actually is. So the first alternative approach that I'm going to present is um, the alternative that I would recommend for high school students, those doing AS and A level, and probably those who are taking a, a additional medicine at, at all level, if ever they would be given a, a question of this a, a level of difficultness. I would put the level of difficultness around the level three to four, uh, four being the, the most difficult. But for university students, I will show you alternatives that are suitable to them, uh, depending on uh, their development as well. So, then we have f of x equals to lin square root of 6x minus 1 bracket 4x plus 5 to the power 3 close brackets so we will rewrite this as f of x equals to lin bracket 6x minus 1 to the power of bracket 4x plus 5 the power three close square brackets so now we have removed the square root sign and we have put in the, uh, the, the power there which is an exponent and now clearly you can see what is going on the square root to the sign which is quite intimidated dating is uh, now no longer an issue so we know from the rules of logarithms that when you are multiplying uh, the functions you are actually adding the, the logs so we can then say f of x is equal to lin bracket 6x minus 1 to the power of plus lin bracket 4x plus 5 to the power 3 so we have applied one rule of logarithms now we are applying the second rule when we have got an exponent and you are looking for the logarithm of an exponent it is the same as multiplying the log of uh, the function you are raising to an exponent and the solution will be the same. So in other words, we can actually reduce this further and write it as f of x is equal to half ln 6x minus 1 plus 3 ln 4x plus 5. So, for high school students, they want you to show this. Uh, so, they are testing your understanding of logarithms. And once your question is in this form, it becomes very easy to differentiate now because you are dealing with symbol functions inside of uh, the logarithmic uh, function. So in other words, uh, you are no longer dealing with the exponents and products, then uh, this becomes very easy to, to tackle for, for students. So to find the logarithm, we then say f prime x and 
equals to we can say half all brackets we use now the chain rule where we differentiate the lean log function and then we differentiate what is inside the bracket of the log function. So this would be the differentiation of the log function would give us 1 over 6x minus 1 times the differentiation of what is in the bracket which is going to be uh, 6 over 1 because it's basically 6x the constant goes to 0 when we differentiate and we close the bracket and say plus 3 open brackets we do the same we differentiate the log function uh, and then we differentiate what is in the bracket and that is the application of what we call the chain rule it is a very very excellent rule and the, uh, it actually is a, an advance of uh, a differentiation by substitution it, it co compacts the, the, the differentiation by substitution method so here the differential of the log is 1 over bracket 4x plus 5 times the differentiation of what is in the bracket 4x goes to 4 over 1 and the 5 becomes 0 it is the differential of a constant so now we can open our brackets and as we open our brackets we can notice that here the 2 is actually multiplying everything that is in the bracket so the 2 will cancel out with the 6 to get a 3 and here the 3 is multiplying everything here it's close bracket here the 3 is multiplying everything that is in the brackets so it will be 3 times 4 and we have f dot x equals to 3 over 6 x minus 1 plus 12 over 4 x plus 5 and uh, we are almost done you could leave your solution at that stage um, if you don't have time in the examination and leave it at that we can actually mark it but you can actually go further and say f prime x is equal to you take this 2 as your the product is your common denominator and then you say 6 into that common denominator you will have 3 bracket 4x plus 5 plus and 4x plus 5 into that common denominator you will have 6x minus 1 so this becomes 12 bracket 6x minus 1 so then you have f prime x equals to you expand 12x plus 15 plus 72x minus 12 all over 6x minus 1 bracket 4x plus 5 and we can actually say here now the prime x is equal to 12x plus 72x that gives you 
84x and 15 minus 12 that gives you plus 3 all over 6x minus 1 bracket 4x plus 5 and finally you can say if, uh, f prime x equals to 3 bracket 3 into 8 that's 2 which is 6 remainder 2 into 24 that's 8 x plus 1 close bracket all divided by 6x minus 1 bracket 4x plus 5 and you can put this as your final solution so you can see that I stretched out my working so that you can follow what I'm doing and understand the, the procedures. And for high school students who are developing, I like to do the multiplications and the additions and the rigor, which is basically um, a manipulation of figures. And for mature students, I like showing the reasoning behind a particular problem, otherwise the working of the numbers they should have already mastered. So this is done. I'm going to wrap this and show you alternative two, which I recommend for, for, for first level students. So we can say alternative 2 and this for university students. So we take the same function and say f of x is equal to lin square brackets root 6x minus 1 bracket 4x plus 5 to the power 3 square brackets and we 
do the first part that we did in the previous alternative and say f of x is equal to lin 6x minus 1 to the power of plus lin 4x plus 5 to the power 3. So now instead of multiplying down with the, using the uh, exponents, we deal with the question as it appears now, in which case you will see the beauty of uh, the application of the chain rule. So then what we will then say is f prime x is equal to 1 over 6x minus 1 to the power of which is the differentiation of the log logarithmic function and then now we use the chain rule to differentiate what is uh, before the log logarithmic function so we can say times we differentiate that it gives us half times 6x minus 1 to the power minus half because we have said the uh, half times the 6x minus 1 and then half minus 1 gives us minus half and then we differentiate what is in the bracket and say times 6 because the, what is in the bracket is actually 6 like we showed in the previous alternative so this is the application of the chain rule on the chain rule and then here we say plus 1 over 4x plus 5 to the power 3 and that's the differential of the logarithmic function and then we deal with 4x plus 5 to the power 3 using the chain rule so we say times 3 bracket 4x plus 5 to the power 2 because we say 3 multiplied by 4x plus 5 and then 3 minus 1 and then we differentiate what is in the bracket and that gives us 4 like we did in the previous uh, alternative so we then say f prime x equals to the 2 divides into the 6 gives us a 3 and the 6x minus 1 to the power minus half we bring it down because the minus means that it is 1 over 6x minus 1 to the power half and the, the 6x minus 1 to the power half maybe let me just do the, the step I wanted to skip a step so I, I will just do the step so you can follow so half into 6 2 into 6 is 3 over 6x minus 1 to the power half and this one is 1 over so we bring it down as well we have 6x minus 1 to the power half and then we say plus this becomes 3 times 4 and it gives us 12 over and here what we notice is that we have 4x plus 5 to the power 3 below and we've got 4x plus 5 to the power 2 above so we can cancel this and cancel that 3 so we end up with 1 over bracket 4x plus 5 and here when you are multiplying the square root of the same number 
by itself, you get the number. In other words, if we say uh, the square root of 4 multiplied by the square root of 4, it is equal to 4 because it will be 2 times 2. So here we have f dot x, f prime x equals to 3 over 6x minus 1 plus 12 over 4x plus 5. And we are exactly where we were after a couple of steps here. We have reduced the number of steps because we have skipped a few steps. And uh, uh, for a well-developed student of mathematics, you might actually skip a number of steps and in two or three steps you have gotten your solution. As long as you can see how to manipulate the numbers, it becomes easy. So now this, we can just follow through like we did previously and say 6x minus 1 bracket bracket 4x plus 5 bracket and here we have 12x plus 15 plus 72x minus 12 this, there is an equal sign there and we have 5 dot prime x equals to 3 bracket 28x plus 1 bracket all over 6x minus 1 and 4x plus 5 and we are done. So once you understand what is going on and you have mastered the use of the chain rule, it makes your work very easy. You do not have to follow through step by step like you we did in the first alternative. But for developing students, younger students, following through step by step is what we recommend and is what the examiners want to see because they are testing you not uh, on how to get a solution but uh, on your understanding of the concepts and you should show it all in your working but for advanced students in most cases it is not those uh, the concepts that uh, they are testing what they would be wanting from an advanced student is to get a solution that is going to lead to an application which will solve a real world uh, situation. So the steps are important, yes, but the solution and the final uh, solving of a real world uh, situation is in essence what we will be looking for. So I'm going to wrap this and show you the last alternative and then we'll be done with the, the first question.
So now I'm going to show you alternative three, which is the, the last alternative uh, in the consideration of question one. And I will call it alternative three recommended for developed mathematicians And uh, these are the guys that uh, do everything in their heads and they write a few uh, lines on the board but otherwise they do most of the working uh, in their heads. And probably for students who are still developing mathematicians, I think in uh, television this is where they say uh, please do not try this at home. So, <laughs> I'm going to try it. If I run into problems, bear with me. I'm just going to make an illustration. It, 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 if it comes well, you will see how uh, the use of uh, uh, concepts and the rules can make uh, life very easy in mathematics. So, basically, I will begin with the fx is equal to lin our square brackets square root of 6x minus 1 4x plus 5 to the power 3 and close square brackets so I will also take the second step and say lin square brackets 6x minus 1 to the power half and 4x plus 5 to the power 3 close square bracket so what I realize is that he, this whole complex is multiplying this whole complex. So this basically is a product of two functions. So I can actually use the product rule, the chain rule, and the logarithmic differentiation approach and then here we will use the chain rule on the chain rule like we did in the second alternative but I have skipped two stages of the separation of these two uh, into an addition and then the multiplication of the logs by the quotients so basically the product rule states that if y is equal to u v where u and v are both functions of x then dy dx is equal to u dv dx plus v du dx or this is equal to u v prime plus v u prime that is the product rule and i'm going to apply it here so i will say f prime x equals to 
I will do the logarithmic differentiation using what is in the brackets there. And so I will say all that under my line, 6 minus 1 to the power half, 4x plus 5 to the power 3. And then I apply the product rule where I say bracket 6x minus 1 to the power half multiplied by the differential of that which is 3 brackets 4x plus 5 to the power 2 multiplied by the differential of what is in the bracket there which is 4 and I then say plus now I am multiplying this function by the differential of that function and doing the chain rule on the chain rule so now I can say bracket 4x plus 5 bracket multiplied by I now differentiate that so the differential of this would be half bracket 6x minus 1 to the power minus half multiplied by 6 so then for you to see what is going on I will put another line and say f prime x is equal to 3 times 4 there is 12 bracket 4x plus 5 to the power 2 so this one is 4x plus 5 to the power 3 this is the reason why I was saying don't try this at home these uh, silly mistakes are bound to happen where you just take that complex and you leave the power so if you crowd your working a mistake is bound to happen at some point we have picked it up so that is to the power 3 so here we have 4x plus 5 to the power 2 multiplied by 6x minus 1 to the power half plus bracket 4x plus 5 to the power 3 Here we have half divided by a uh, half times 6 gives us 3 and this is over bracket 6x minus 1 to the power half and all this is over bracket 6x minus 1 to the power half bracket 4x plus 5 so then we can actually multiply the top part by 6x minus 1 and then we can also factorize 4x plus 5 out of the bracket so then we have and f prime x is equal to 12 bracket 4x plus 5 bracket we are just let us see factorize 4x plus 5 to the power 2 
and put a square bracket there. And then if we multiply through by 6x minus 1 to the power half, this becomes 12 bracket 6x minus 1. The 4x plus 5 is out. And then we, the 6x minus 1 to the power half, which we are multiplying with there, it cancels with that one. And we are left with plus 3 there because we have taken out the 4x plus 5 squared then we are left with 4x plus 5 then close bracket and since we have multiplied by 6x minus 1 to the power of on the top we also do the same on the bottom. We multiply the denominator by 6x minus 1 to the power half as well. And so we will end up with bracket 6x minus 1 bracket 4x plus 5. That's the beauty of mathematics. So now you can see already that we are exactly where we wanted to be. And so, and here we lost the power 3, there is 4x plus 5 to the power 3, and here also 4x plus 5 to the power 3, so here it's 4x and, uh, plus 5 to the power 3 as well. So now, perfect, we are there, then we, we can actually cancel this part and cancel this three and we have f prime x is equal to we expand what is in those square brackets 72x minus 12 plus 12x plus 15 all over 6x minus 1 bracket 4x plus 5 and we end up with 3 bracket 28x plus 1 all over 6x minus 1 4x plus 5. Right. And your solution is done. So, this is a very challenging approach and the, I wouldn't recommend it for developing mathematicians, but for developed mathematicians who want to show off uh, their understanding of maths and the handling of numbers, they can try this. But as you saw during the process, the method is prone to silly mistakes. You leave out a power or you overlook a power. At some point, you will be very confused as to what is going on. Um, so it needs tenacity and concentration. And that is Basically, the purpose of mathematics, it is to teach us to be tenacious and to follow through. If you are not uh, tenacious, you will give up. Because at some point, these numbers become daunting, and then you just tell yourself, this is not for me. But otherwise, if you persevere, and as you go along, the marquee areas will start to show. So this question is done. We are going to wrap the board and we will look at applications, which is question two. And this presentation is going to stand uh, as a standalone video, but we will then combine it with this one so that they are presented as 
a single video. Thank you.